this video tutorial and review, I will be going over Spybot Search and Destroy version 2. Um, this is pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. Uh, it's a very good piece of free antivirus, and so let's get to it. So basic tools, system scan, click this. This brings up this window. And you just hit start scan, it scans, runs, and detects anything in your system. Um, the file scanner is basically just a version of what Norton Security Suite does. You right click a file, you can hit scan, that's what the file scan does. Immunization, what this does is it prevents bad sites from being loaded into your web browser, so you don't even have to worry about them showing up in a, like a Google search or anything. So you would just uh, hit check system, and then hit apply immunization, and it would anything checked it would just make sure nothing gets in. Quarantine, any scanned things that show up to be uh, possibly harmful from your system scan will end up here. Donate, well I guess that is uh, self-explanatory. Statistics, uh, this shows statistical data for scans, whatever you got, shows that. Update, um, this does not update automatically unlike most security systems. So you have to hit update it will load a new window. And it automatically checks uh, as soon as the window is loaded. Then after it's done checking, you just hit update, which is down here. It says everything here. So there's see everything's updated and so we just close the window. Uh, okay, so the more advanced tools. Startup tools, um, basically it's a startup manager. If you don't want programs running when you start your computer up because they lag your computer, you can click this and it will show everything that starts up. Again, just like I said with Advanced System Cares Startup Manager, be careful what you check and uncheck because some things are important system files that you want running. So just be completely sure when you go to check stuff. Rootkit is just another detection tool for viruses and stuff. Uh, settings, that's self-explanatory. You can decide whether this runs or not on startup. Everything else is there. Uh, create a report, and that's used for forums and stuff. If you think you have a problem, you can click Create Report, and it pastes all your data there. You just copy paste it over to a forum. Uh, system repair is just like an optimizer. Um, the secure shredder. What that does is, uh, if you want to delete a file off of your computer, you just drop it in there and it shreds it and so it's harder for it to like basically it's harder for the FBI to recover your file I mean it can still do it it's just going to be harder so don't think of getting away with anything phone scan uh, it scans your mobile phone if you suspect that your phone has a virus you can just plug it into your laptop and you get your phone scan scripting uh, that is used to to change the way SpyBot detects viruses on your computer uh, you can boot this from a CD, so if you put a blank CD in, this will boot it from, from that if you install it. Uh, this repairs your computer from damages, and this is another edit detection patterns thing, so it's just like the scripting. So, that is SpyBot Search and Destroy version 2. Um, I've used this for a good two years now, I've never had a problem with it, it's always done its job. Um, it's very good at finding adware and removing it, uh, and basically scareware, ev anything else, it will remove it. Um, I would rank this 4.5 out of 5, just because I don't. It's not super good when it comes to just everything general. It it has its good areas, so this is a very good program to have. You can always just install it, never use it, or you can use it like I use it and have it as one of your main protectors. So, that's all for this video. Rate, comment, subscribe to the channel for more geeky awesomeness, and I will see you in the next video.